Welcome back to the Homestead Bill, guys. It is, uh, I don't know, the 4th of January. It's 23 degrees outside, and I am using my power shovel to dig. See the form there? I've got to put a concrete pad here for my heating and air condition uh, condenser unit. And I can't tell you how much you guys mean to me because uh, I don't stop working for just anybody. So I'm going to give you guys an overview of what's going on. Look at the little ice over here. Isn't that nice? The upper pond is icing nicely. Uh, so, a lot going on. We are right to the end and give everybody a tour. So, the kitchen's coming along nicely. Uh, remember the video before where I made these countertops? Um, I have a local guy that has a sawmill. Got those from him. Uh, we got cherry here. And this is a big piece of dug fur. So just roughed them in, still have to pull them back out. Um, finish sand, stain, everything. Just want to make sure everything fit right. Got the Pioneer Princess stove in. And we've got a fire in there. So it is warming up the house nicely. Uh, just got here and just fired it up. Uh, so I think the fourth time I've used it. But uh, it's pretty nice. Got an oven here, cooktop, all that stuff. So I'll do another video on that. Of course, we have our regular range there, but uh, we thought that would be nice. So I'll give you guys a little overview here. What is going on? So, electric is done, lights are in. Just have very few little touch-up painting to do. My door, interior doors and trim are supposed to be delivered today. So, kind of here waiting on that. Bathroom is in. Vanity is in. That's the cabinet. Still have to do the uh, faucets here. That's all my list to do today. So, but we have two working toilets. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then back in here to the master. You see that's where I'm doing my work out there today. Getting ready for the heating and air guys. That way, uh, trying to stay a step ahead of them. I called them, told them I'm ready. Asked them what size that pad needed to be. I think they can, they can put down like a plastic pad or something, but I've seen those kind of shift. So I'm wanting to uh, use concrete. So what else? I don't know guys. Uh, it's hard to say because things are changing so fast around here. I don't know what I've covered. Let's kind of give you a walk through. This is the master. Uh, I've really uh, been happy with these LED lights. I used them on another project I did a few years ago. And man, are they bright. And pretty reasonable too. Uh, so, anyway, that's what's going on. Don't know what else I could show you, but just giving you a walk through. Thanks for watching the videos. We do have some new subscribers, so uh, we'll say, man, it's kind of ramped up here. I got, I think, eight in the past week. So for the, those, of you, those of you who don't know, this is an ICF house that I've pretty well built myself. It's taken me about eight months. Uh, so it's all concrete exterior walls, and um, it's just a very simple design. It's a square house, because that's one of, uh, besides being round, square is the most efficient shape. To build, you have less perimeter walls. Uh, it's extremely efficient, as I'm finding out now, because it's 20 degrees outside. When I got here this morning, with no heat on, it was 57 degrees in here, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, I have had some questions on there that I've answered, so I do appreciate that. Uh, anything you guys want to know, let me, let me know. I'll try to answer them best I can. I had a couple people contact me that they were going to do the same thing in order to do an ICF build, and had a few questions for me, so. Uh, Good luck to you guys. Anything I can help, let me know. And uh, I'm going to sign off here and get back to work. Maybe I'll do another video uh, when I get done today, show you the progress. So uh, stay safe out there. Uh, it's kind of a crazy time, so uh, do your best. That's all we can do. And uh, keep on keeping on. See you.